Well, this could be the weekend to enjoy the ultimate in Spanish cuisine. The Stories building on Duncan Street has been converted into a pop-up restaurant. The man behind it says the concept is catching on. Having traveled to Europe and the States quite a bit, pop-ups are really, really popular in the States and Europe. Uh, people, you know, through Twitter and Facebook, uh, you know, they sell out two, three hundred seat pop-up restaurants overnight. That's what happened to Charles. In the process of opening a Spanish restaurant on King Street called Patria, his menu is ready, the staff is ready, but the opening is running behind. He converted the warehouse space in order to give the public a sneak peek at the menu. With about 110, 120 seats, we managed to do, you know, almost 300 people last night. The most expensive thing runs for about $9, and in a city where food trucks and carts offer the standard fare, it seems some people like the idea. From their perspective, it's, it's, you know, it's a good idea. You know, it's a way to, way to make some extra money, right, to get, get their name out there. Right? We just knock ourselves silly because we're, what else do we eat besides the usual, right? So I think variety is a spice of life, and that's what we need. The pop-up will close May 5th. Health concerns are certain to arise from a restaurant opening in a vacant space for only three days, but the city says they stay on top of it. Food has to be kept safe. That's the main thing. Like hot food has to be kept hot. Cold food has to be kept cold, but temporary hand wash uh, basin. Make sure they have proper shade, like a tent to cover it. If not, there will be a lot of flying pigeons and birds out there that may contaminate the food. Don't expect to see pigeons flying around here. The city also says they do investigate complaints. If variety is the spice of life, this is what some foodies have been waiting for. That sounds good. I, I agree. That's a good idea. Rob Malcolm, Global News.